that at this time. It's a special kingdom. If you have your Bible, go with me to First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter eleven. chapter number 11. Verse number 1. The Bible says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. As long as we follow Christ, we can follow each other. Paul was very clear about that. Verse 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances. This is one of the two ordinances of the church. First being baptism, second being Lord's Supper. And he says, as I deliver them to you. Now if you just look back for a moment, back to chapter 10, verse 16. Notice what it says there. Chapter 10, verse 16. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many, are one bread and one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. Now if we go back over to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 26, it says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Verse 27, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, and discerneth not the Lord's body. And damnation doesn't always refer to someone going to hell. In some cases such as this, it refers to condemnation. Uh, means you deserve punishment. Right? That's simple meaning there. Verse 30, for this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Certainly God will chastise us, right? God takes us very seriously when we come before Him and have a much time. We should search our hearts, make sure things are right between us and the Lord before we partake. And if you're saved today, you can partake of this. We have open communion. You're welcome to join us. Verse 31, for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. This is the way God would rather it be. He would rather not judge us himself. He would rather us judge ourselves. Verse 32, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. At this time, let's have a moment of silence, and uh, we'll uh, just spend some time just uh, in silent prayer with the Lord. And then we'll pray. taking the sins of the world, God. Uh, Lord, dying for us in our stead, uh, shedding your sinless, precious blood on the cross of Calvary so that we can be gloriously saved. God, we heard the testimony this morning, Brother Brian, saved. 
after 52 years, God, being an Anglican, coming out of dead religion into your glorious light of the Gospels. Lord, you're so good to us. Oh, God, we thank you so much, Lord. And uh, Lord, just bless now, I pray, as we partake, as we remember, Lord, your death, and uh, Lord, you shedding of your blood for our sins. And God, may you be glorified, and Lord, so thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 This do in remembrance of me. Let's take one stanza of Amazing Grace, shall we? 